The benefits of genetic improvement are improving the performance of the fish at, at the most fundamental level. Are they healthier? Do they utilize their diet more efficiently? They, they grow faster, so the economics of production are better. And are they more nutritious and better for the consumer? And have you minimized environmental impacts? So these are all questions that can be addressed through genetics, especially if you combine genetics with other areas of expertise. From the genetic perspective, the strength of our company is we're an aquaculture company. So there's other companies out there that, that offer services to the agricultural industry, for example. But in, in our case, because we have a fundamental understanding of husbandry and the, the tanks and how companies operate, what we do is we go in and we, we're not telling them to change everything. We're saying, how can we take what you already do and add value? To use the technologies, you have to be able to have the tools. And the tools are both strategy, which we help companies formulate how best to build a breeding program and do genetic improvement, and the genotyping and genomic tools. These are typically very expensive. So our approach is how do we create those tools for aquaculture at a price point that the industry can use? So it takes some thought and critical thinking, but our goal has been to develop the tools that can be implemented so that genetic improvement is available not just to big giant corporations, but to anyone that has a breeding program. They can make, they can make progress. Aquaculture is dynamic. You've got the whole spectrum from established companies that understand the value of genetics, and we can help them by providing tools and cost-effective solutions. For these companies that have scale and are big and they're just implementing these genetic improvement programs, and so we're helping them create tools. And from the companies that are just getting the fish domesticated, basically, and the opportunity there is to explain the value proposition and, and help direct the strategy around genetic improvement. So, and the scale of the operation will dictate the types of solutions that they should pursue. And sometimes people will have become excited about the latest in genomic technologies, which is expensive, and will at times advise them that you don't need to spend that much money because you're not quite at that scale yet. I think it's appreciated when we're, where we're, we're not upselling. And so this is a level of trust that's developed by the concern and care we have for the industry and for the client. And that's the basis for a relationship which allows a dialogue around what's the best way forward.